Welcome back. We're going to look at the TI Inspire and how it can help us solve for a definite integral. Now, I am going to use my CAS. Now, some of you guys might have a CX. We'll talk a little bit about the difference in a little bit. But really, for what we're going to need this for, there's really no difference between the CAS and the CX. So we're going to talk about how we can use the calculator to solve an integral problem. Now the first thing you always want to make sure, especially in BC calculus, is that you're in radian mode. All right, so to solve the integral, so let's say we have an integral here from 0 to 3 of x squared dx. And I want to solve this integral. So on the calculator, what I'm going to do is I am going to go over to the menu button. Now I'm in Scratchpad. You can also be in Document. We'll talk about that in just a moment. So if I go to Menu, I'm looking at Calculus. Okay, this is a calculus problem. And I'm looking at, there. look at the choices, derivative, derivative at a point, or integral. Well, we're looking at an integral. Now again, on the CX, your options are a little bit different. We'll see that in a little bit. So I'm pressing enter, and if you notice, it gives me my integrand symbol. And I'm just going to type it in exactly as it looks. 0 to 3, type in my equation, x squared, and don't forget your differential dx. I press enter, and I get 9. Very easy to do. We can even do more complicated one. What if I did something like this? Uh, 0 to 4 of the square root of 1 minus, uh, 1 plus 2x squared dx. So let's say I want to find something like this. Well, I would type it in exactly the same way as it looks. I would go 3, menu, calculus, integral, and I'm going to type it in exactly as it looks. 0 to 4, square root 1 plus 2x squared, and don't forget your differential. Press, whoop, not differential is not 2, excuse me, it's x. And I press enter, and notice, it gives me this really long, ugly answer. Don't be like, uh, yeah, we don't know what this is, so we don't like this. So I'm going to convert this to a decimal. And to do that, I just hit my control enter key, and it gives me my answer as a decimal. So that's much nicer to look at. Can you imagine going to the store, you owe me three times the natural log of blah, 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 dollars, right? We don't like that. So this is going to be about 37.049. And there's our answer. Very easy to do. Uh, we can even do trigalicious functions. Let's say the area from 0 to pi of sine of x, dx. I can type this in. Remember, make sure you're in radian mode. Menu, oops, menu, sorry about that. 4, I'm looking for an integral, and I'm going to go from 0 to pi. I don't know where pi is, I just type in the number pi. I, I just type in pi. I can use the alphabet key down here, just type in pi. And that's going to go from, and I'm going to do sine of x, trig, sine of x. You can actually use any letter. Let's say you didn't want to use x. Be crazy. Let's say to use b, sine b. Just make sure that when you type in your differential, you use the same letter. And you can press enter and you get your answer. So we can use x, but we can use any letter that we really want because it's just a variable for the calculator. And that's just going to equal 2. And there's our answer right here. So let's talk about the computer now. Let's say I want to find the integral from 0 to 2, sine of x, dx. But now I want to use the computer. Some of you guys might have downloaded the app from the website, from a TI. Now this is going to be a CX. It's going to be a little bit different. And you want to be, if I clear out of here, uh, don't save that. Don't use the scratch pad. Scratch pad doesn't really work too well with the calculator on the computer version. I haven't figured out how to get it to work yet. When I do, I'll put up another video. So I'm going to go to Documents and just type in New. I'm looking at, uh, I'm going to add a calculator. And over here on the left, you have your actions. This is like your menu button. Take a look. Actions, number, algebra, calculus, probability, statistics, matrix vector, finance, functions and program. It has other ones too down here. All right. So we're doing calculus. So I'm going to press calculus. And again, same thing. Just look at the little differences. Here we have derivative, derivative at a point. This is a cast. Over here, 
this will find a derivative. The cast can find a derivative in terms of x. It can also find an integral in terms of x. But we're not worried about that in, uh, for right now. We don't need it for any of that. We just need it to find a definite integral. And that's basically right down here where it says a numerical integral. So we're going to press 2. And if you notice, it looks exactly the same as when we would have done over here. And we just type in a function. So I would type in the number 0, click up here, 2, and just type in your function, sine of x, click over, dx. Now make sure you're in radian mode. When you press enter, not defined, whoops, hold on here. Maybe I think I need to put a comma in here. Hold on here, let me try that again. Sorry. So calculus, zero to two, there we go, sine x. There we go. You have to put in a parenthesis, otherwise it thinks of that as a, as a variable. The calculus will read sine of x as a variable. But by putting the x in parentheses, then it, bec then it becomes our function sine of x. Press enter, and now we get our answer. Sorry about that. So we get 1.416. And again, I can do any one of these, just like, like the last one. Let's try this one, zero to pi of sine of x dx. So let's see if it'll work out the same way. Calculus, numerical integral, zero to pi. I just type in pi, it reads it. Okay, sine x, and we should get two. Hopefully, we'll keep x. We should get two again. And I can do it for any of these. I can do it for this other one up here. Uh, calculus, numerical integral. We'll put the three on the outside. We're going to get 0 to 4, and I'm going to type in the square root. Now, typing in the square root, you can, I think you can use the functions program. It can help you with that. There's uh, some number stuff you can use, or algebraic. Or you can just type in the phrase SQRT. Calculator reads that as a square root, 1 plus 2x squared. Now, to get the square, I can hit caret 2. Just hit my caret button. That's the, the caret button is the button on the calculator that looks like this. So if I want to do like x squared, it would be x caret 2. And dx, press enter, and it gives us our answer again. So play around with this. Play around with the calculator. It is a lot of fun. Uh, you can always figure a lot of this out. And again, if you're looking for action, some numbers, stuff, some algebra things, um, it'll do all or everything that the handheld will do in terms of the math. Okay? Alright, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you all later.